2021 Mazda CX-30 Turbo First Drive Review, Mazda's Long March Upmarket. Is the CX-30 Turbo the one to get? One of our biggest gripes about the Mazda CX-30 has been its powertrain. For a brand intent on being held in consideration with luxury automakers, the standard CX-30 feels far more Honda, Nissan, or Toyota than Acura, Infiniti, or Lexus. Now armed with a more powerful optional engine, the new 2021 Mazda CX-30 Turbo aims to take the tiny Japanese automaker up the ladder into the luxury subcompact SUV ring with the established players. What's new? New last year, not a whole lot has changed with the CX-30 aside from the added turbo engine. Slotting between the slightly smaller CX-3 and significantly bigger CX-5, not to mention alongside the Mazda 3 hatchback, the 2021 CX-30 continues to come standard with a 2.5-liter i4 that makes 186 HP and 186 lb-ft of torque, routing that power either through a 6-speed automatic to the front wheels or through an optional all-wheel drive system. Available only with all-wheel drive and a 6-speed automatic, the CX-30 Turbo is powered by a 2.5-liter turbocharged i4 producing 250 HP and 310 lb-ft of torque on premium 93-octane gas, or 226 HP and 310 lb-ft of torque on regular 87-octane fuel. Although Mazda has swapped in a new rear differential, changed the automatic gear ratios, and retuned the suspension to handle the new turbo force torque, horsepower, and extra weight, respectively, it says the changes were made primarily to ensure that CX-30 turbos didn't drive differently than naturally aspirated CX-30s. Efficiency doesn't suffer much with the new CX-30 turbo, the EPA rates the new model at 22-30-25 mpg city-highway-combined, while the naturally aspirated CX-30 AWD achieves 24-31-26 mpg. How does the CX-30 turbo drive? There's no way around it the addition of a turbocharged engine represents a massive improvement to the CX-30 line. One of the biggest gripes we've had about the CX-30 is with the standard powertrain. The base i4 lacks the low-end grunt of its more modern competitors, and it's paired with a dated, slow-shifting automatic gearbox. This results in a frustrating dance between the driver's right foot and the transmission as the latter hunts around for the small sweet spot in the 2.5-liter engine's power band. With a broad power band, shorter transmission gearing, and most important, peak torque availability at just 2,000 rpm, the CX-30 Turbo is significantly better to drive than the non-turbocharged model. Thanks to the new engine, there's a newfound life in the CX-30. While it'll never be mistaken for the beloved, and long departed, Mazda Speed 3, it feels properly quick when you floor it from a stop, even exhibiting some modest torque steer despite the turbo model's standard all-wheel drive system. Driven more sedately, the CX-30 Turbo gets up and off the line quickly and without a fuss, and once it gets up to speed, it hums quietly in the background. Passing power is much improved, too, with enough torque on tap that the CX-30 can lazily accelerate without having to downshift. That's just as well, despite revised gear ratios, the 6-speed automatic still has the slow, slushy downshifts and early upshifts that plague naturally aspirated versions of the CX-30. It also has a frustrating tendency to upshift early and downshift late, even when in sport or manual drive modes, the latter of which is never truly manual. Although the turbo is a massive improvement over the base naturally aspirated engine, Mazda's decision to tune the CX-30 turbo to otherwise drive like the standard version was a missed opportunity. Despite the newfound power, the CX-30 Turbo still lacks a cohesive sense of purpose, is it a luxury SUV? A sporty SUV? Or something else entirely, and the drive experience suffers because of it? The Mazda suspension, for instance, reads sport. Like the standard CX-30, the Turbo suspension is stiffly sprung on most impacts and skittish over rough ones, especially at highway speeds making it never really feel settled down or confidence-inspiring.